tātou e ngā tamariki o te motu ko ngā ringi tōku ingoa no tū hoi. Kei ko nei tātou, kei te pare kararehe o tāmaki makaurau, ki te mātai, ki te hōpara, ki te tuhura hoki i ngā kararehe miharo o roto. I te rangi nei, ka tārere tātou e ngā raurau, ki te tuhura i tētahi momo hurupūwhero. Ka piki ki te taumata teite o te rākau. He harawa pea! Ki pā atu i ngā aka māta toru ki te karamatamatatanga o te ngahere. Noho ai te tahi tūmomo ki roto rākau mo te roanga o tōna oranga. Hanga kohanga ai ia, he oi e harai te manu, kua uhia ki te makau e pūwhero, e matamata huanga ki a tāua te ira tangata. Ka ore e kore i mau ia koe te tūmomo e tiro hi ana, anei te tahi tīwhiri, he whāngo te waewairua no te whānau makimaki hoki. Tika, he tuāhuru, a ka tūtaki atu tātou ki tēnei ki te ako i te take i hirahira aia. Tuatahi ake, me haereau ki te rapu i ngā kai arahi o te whare kararehe nei. I mōhio rānei koe he whakarau waru te kaha ake o ngā tuāhuru i te tāne toharite e whā rawa ngā ari savea. Kwa mōhio te arātou ki te whakamahi ngā otaota hei kaupare i ngā namu namu. A, tipuwai ngā pāpāringa o ngā tuahuru toa hei whakapoapoa i ngā uwha. So here we are whānau at the High Canopy Primate Habitat and I'm joined by two Auckland Zoo educators to teach us all about the orangutangi. Tēnā koutou tamariki mā, ko Sterling toku ingoa. Kia ora ngārangi, kia ora tamariki mā, ko Hohepa toku ingoa. So Hohepa. Who are the orangutans that live here? So we have three orangutan here at Auckland Zoo. We have Malu, who is very sweet and very playful. Then we have Juanita, who is our oldest. She's very intelligent and most observant. And then we have Charlie, our gentle giant, who loves his kai and loves learning new things. So, where are their species originally from? Orangutan are found in Sumatra and Borneo. They are arboreal animals, which means that they spend all of their time high up in the treetops. And the name orangutan comes from two different Indonesian and Malaysian words, orang, which means person, and hutan, which means forest. Thus, person of the forest. Fascinating. So are there any kōrero you can tell us about their habitat? Unfortunately, orangutan's rainforests are being illegally logged and then burned for the palm oil plantations. Also, sadly, orangutan are killed by farmers protecting their palm crops and then babies are taken into the pet trade. Oh weird, te pauri hoki. So is there anything being done about this? Well, Auckland Zoo has been supporting the Sumatran Orangutan Conservation Programme to help rehabilitate and reintroduce orangutan back into safe Sumatran rainforests. That sounds like really important work and it's very good to hear. So, I'm keen to do some stuff with these guys. What can I do? Yep, so we'll take you down to our kitchen and we'll make some popsicles for our orangutan. I mōhio rānei koe ka tipu ngā ringaringa o ngā tuahuru toa ki te rua mita hemihemi, e pēnei te roa. Fuu! Kwa kia, he orite te reo ka puta i ngā pāpāringa o ngā tuahuru ki te tuku reo. E toru te kaumārua ngā niho o ngā tuahuru. Heri te kia tātou. So Ngārangi, let us introduce you to Sarah, one of our primate keepers. Kia ora Sarah, it's so lovely to meet you. So what are we preparing for the orangutan today? So today we're going to be working what we call behavioural enrichment. It's a way to promote natural behaviours. It also helps to keep them mentally stimulated and keep them occupied within their environment. So Sarah, we're going to make some kai. What do we need to do first? Sweet. So first we need to put on some gloves and a mask because orangutans share 97% of our DNA. That also means that we can transfer diseases to and from one another. So, what are we making today? So today we're going to be making frozen leaf parcels. Put in a little smear of Vegemite in there. A tiny little smear and roll these leaves up. Just needs to be hard for them to open. Pop them in the freezer. It makes it that little bit more challenging. And I've got some that I've prepared earlier. So now we're going to put them out in the habitat, in their feeders. So follow me, guys. Cool. 
So we're here in our habitat and these brown structures here are our canopy climbers with our arboreal feeders on. So we'll be bringing them down to set them up. Cool. 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 Here you go. Thank you. Let's pop it all in there. So why do we put the parcels up there, not down here on the ground? Because orangutans feed high up in the canopy in the wild, so we need to feed them off the ground in these feeders. So what are we likely to see when they get their parcels? So when they come out, you'll see them using their hands and their feet in order to try and like manipulate the feeders to acquire their food. They'll even use tools as well, so they'll, you'll see them sometimes using twigs and branches in order to break things open to get to their food. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Thanks so much, Sarah, for taking the time to teach us all about behavioural enrichment. My pleasure. You all did such a good job setting the feeders up for the orangutans. Now, Reira Tamarikima, it's time for your behavioural enrichment. Anaiti Wayata. Well, Fano, I hope you enjoyed learning about Charlie, Juanita and Malu, the gorgeous orangutan here at Auckland Zoo. Well, Ngārangi, we're glad you've learned a lot about this endangered species. Yeah, I definitely have. And how you two at home can help with their survival in the wild. Tika tonu kōrua. Nā reira tamariki mā, that's it from us here at Auckland Zoo. Hei konei rā!